Hi, Paul Brian, Century 21, North Bay Alliance. This is my September 2016 Sonoma County real estate market update. So before we get into September, let's talk a little bit about what's happened in Sonoma County in the last three years. So the growth in real estate values in Sonoma County has been astonishing and it's been fueled by historically low interest rates and a chronic low level of new inventory. So what the data is telling us is that if you were to have bought a home in September 2013, well, say at the uh, average home price of $504,000, that same home would be worth $700,000 in today's market. And that is an increase of 38.9% in just three years. So fast forwarding to the month of September 2016, 445 homes sold. That's down 16.5% from last month. And it's down 2.6 year over year. So you can see now we are heading into the winter market as there's been a huge drop in uh, the homes sold month over month. Uh, there's been 887 homes that were actively listed for sale. That is up 1.5% from last month. And um, if you look, it's, seven, it's down 7.6 year over year. And that is uh, an indicator that um, there, there's less inventory now uh, than there was a year ago. So buyers, they have less choices now to choose from. So we currently have two months of inventory on the market. Um, and as, as a rule of thumb, an inventory level less than three indicates that it's a very strong seller's market. Uh, while an inventory of greater than six means we're in a buyer's market. We have two months, and that means if no one listed any houses as of today, in two months we wouldn't have any houses to sell. There are buyer strategies that will increase your chances of getting your purchase offer accepted in this strong seller's market. So if you find yourself in a situation where, where you're trying to make an offer after offer and you're not being able to get into contract, just uh, reach out to me and I'll share those strategies with you. So the average sale price of a home was $700,000 and the median home price was $570,000. Now the median price helps to us determine where in the market is, is, is the, the buyer's interest is strongest. For example, just as an example, yeah, at the 570 price point, a house may receive you know 10 to 12 offers uh, if it's a market ready house. And, and at the 700,000 price point, maybe it'll receive you know, four to six. That's kind of like an indicator where the, the market is strongest. So the average time it took to sell a house in September was 60 days. Now you'll notice that in June, it was the peak of the market and the average uh, uh, time to sell a house was 51 days. So again, another indicator that we're moving into the fall winter market. So sellers out there, you can expect that your house is gonna take just a little longer to sell over the next few months until we hit maybe spring and things are gonna pick back up, um, maybe even sooner than that. So looking at uh, sales price compared to the original listing price, we're seeing that houses are fetching 97% of what the seller is asking for. So again, very strong seller's market. So thank you for watching and I hope you use this information to make the best decision for you and your family going forward when you purchase or sell your next home. And um, just call me, text me, email me anytime if you have any questions. I'll be glad to answer them for you. And remember, the agent you use matters. Really.